Hey guys, so I'm actually visiting my friend in Minneapolis right now and I'm waiting for her to get off work so I thought I'd film this video. Um, all day I've been basically contemplating my career goals and my overall goals and just like what makes me happy and I've been strategizing with whether or not I've been investing in the right side projects and I kind of am getting the sense that I've been investing too much of myself but in too many things and to the point where nothing could be the quality that I'd like and I'm kind of just been realizing that maybe I should relax a bit and either care a little bit less about perfection or just try not do everything all at once so that I can maintain the quality that I'm looking for so yeah and I think that something that would help me gain momentum on my journey would be to just do more like rambling videos and get more comfortable um, in my own skin because so yeah that's the topic that I want this video to be about is my journey feeling comfortable with my own voice and my own skin and it's kind of ironic that this is the topic that I'm talking about being comfortable in my own skin and that uh, I've already started this video like five other times uh, and I keep deleting it because I keep feeling like I sound awkward or whatever. Uh, which it is just kind of awkward. Personally, it's kind of awkward for me to talk to my talk about myself. Like I tried and made this video a couple other times and I would just started talking about ENFJs as a whole when really I'm talking about me and really I'm trying to get away from talking about Myers-Briggs so often anyway. So this is the topic. I'm going to try and just stick to it and tell my personal journey about feeling comfortable in my own skin and what that looks like for me in terms of my career. So I think it's interesting. I really like YouTube. I really like podcasts, I really like blogging. I don't have the time and the energy to do what I would like to do right now, but I'm trying to refine myself to be the type of person that can be a multimedia content creating machine all day long and just say things that will inspire people to be better versions of themselves. And it's, it's funny that I feel like I'm so naturally an expressive person, I'm so naturally a confident person, but it's almost like when I was born, I was like this fireball of energy and people kept trying to contain me and push me down and they told me that, that was not okay. And so I learned to sort of cover that part of myself and now I feel like that part of myself is bursting at the seams. So it's kind of funny actually that I'm even having this problem of how to grow into my own voice and how to feel comfortable my own voice because this is something that comes extremely naturally to me and so that also means that I am kind of hard on myself about the times whenever I'm not perfect in my expression because this is my this is my cup of tea you know like I love expressing and I love talking and I feel like I could be charismatic and uh, energetic and I feel like I'm good at communicating a message so whenever I'm not doing that perfectly because um, I don't feel confident enough in myself that's hard because that's my skill that's that's like my, my identity goes along with that quite a bit which is what's been keeping me back from doing a lot of the things that I would want to be doing right now so personally when I was a, when I was a little girl I was obsessed with musical theater I wanted to be on Broadway. I would watch like Annie and Wizard of Oz and I would act it out and I would like make my sister and I'd make my friends act it out with me. I've always just wanted to be seen. I've always just wanted to express and I was loud and I was inquisitive and I was wanting to do everything and I was wanting to be loved and appreciated. And I learned pretty quickly that that's annoying for people and that people don't have love to give and people don't care what you have to say I was told like shut up why are you talking like be quiet like stop asking questions like my entire life and just by society by no one in 
particular. Um, it's just kind of the message that I got. And so it's almost like over time I learned that expressing and sharing was not okay. And it is okay. And I want to make that same quality my career. I want to be able to express myself. Gosh, my arm hurts. Let's see if I can do this. Okay. <laughs> I want um, authentic emotional expression to be what I do all day long for a living. And I want to create a world where everyone can do that and everyone can feel comfortable doing that. There's a lot of barriers and there's a lot of um, obstacles in the way because it's not just me that received this message that it was not okay to share. Everyone does. Everyone, and, and even in all my, all my content, all my, my blogs or any content I've ever created, it's really hard to create art that's just for you. And what's even harder than that is to believe that the art that you created just for you might have any, might help anyone else or be of interest to anyone else. Like, I'm trying to just go off my gut here and talk about me and maybe someone wants to listen. I don't know. It, it seems silly, honestly, to think that me just talking about myself would help anyone else, but it's dumb because what helps me the most is hearing other people talk about themselves and being honest about themselves. So I feel like there is a real value proposition here with being a person that talks openly about themselves. Honestly, a lot of YouTube personalities, it's what they do is they share their life and it makes people feel connected and I want to do that. But so yeah, so my journey in doing that is that I was, um, I was really interested in expression and theater and creating as a kid and that was my outlet. But in elementary school and middle school, I didn't really have any friends that shared that interest. Um, and I know now that a lot of them had harder family lives than I did. And so it was kind of, we had a different childhood. So, you know, uh, but for me, I was kind of used to being like, the teacher's pet and like that one girl like I I had like interests and hobbies like as a elementary school and middle school kid like I was involved in a bunch of extracurriculars like dance and community theater and choir I just wanted to be seen and I wanted to be heard and uh, I feel like that led me to where I am now as wanting to be a content creator, journalist, slash personality, slash life coach, whatever that is. I don't know. I'm still figuring that out. And the label thing really is hard for me. And what also is hard for me is that I know that as someone that understands and has good taste when it comes to content and uh, understands style, I know that consistency and focus is what you need to succeed and I know that if I had that that I would be a lot better right now but I just don't and I'm trying to figure it out and a lot of times I'm hesitating saying anything or sharing anything because I want it to be focused um, but it's not I mean it's it's not I don't have a label for what I want to be I don't know if I want to be a motivational speaker or if I want to be um, a life coach or if I want to be a content creator like all these things it all revolves around the idea that I know that I need to be more comfortable sharing my personal self with the world like I've always known that I would be a public figure of some sort I've never wanted there to be any boundaries between me and the world because people are always going to try and define you and so why would you not why would you give up the opportunity to define yourself for yourself because then if I define myself then I have my power back if I share myself from my perspective then that gives me power um, 
in defining who I am and not letting anybody else define me. Um, so yeah, I I had this natural and I had this natural tendency to share from a very young age, and it kept waning, especially like in middle school. Whenever I realized that I was not popular or cool, and that boys didn't like me, I like kind of learned to shut up a little bit. And in high school, I sort of found my um, safe spaces for expression. And like I was in, a, I mean, in my theater and my choir and my speech and debate, my improv world, I was the life of the party. I was the center of attention. I was myself. I felt free and I felt happy, but I couldn't be that anywhere else. Like I was only that whenever I felt comfortable. I want to create a world where everyone feels comfortable to express all the time. I don't want people to have to seek safe spaces. I want everyone to be able to know themselves and be themselves fully and feel comforted from the people that are around them to be that way. But it's not that easy. And a lot of times it takes bravery and risk to just go out and be yourself before the comfort exists. And so I kind of want to forge that path by just being myself and sharing myself and hoping that it encourages others to do the same and hoping that I can create a world where more people are doing this and it, if the more people speak their truth then the easier it is to um, remember that we're not alone and also the easier it is to create systems and structures that don't forget about a p section of the population and are actually for everyone. And you know, unfortunately, you have to advocate for yourself in a lot of ways in order to succeed. Because people won't be advocating for you if they don't know where you're coming from. And so, there's a lot of reasons why I think that speaking your truth and being yourself is important. It's a lot more important than just the little, the short-term satisfaction of being noticed and having the attention. It creates a ripple effect. And I feel like I definitely lost that side of myself during times like in middle school when I wanted a boyfriend or like in high school whenever I was in classes with normal people that were not weird theater kids um, and or like in, in college when I would like date boys I didn't really like and um, try and find some sort of value and I would like drink more than I actually enjoyed. I would not tell jokes because I would assume that or because people would tell me that I wasn't funny and I was never telling the joke for you anyway I was telling it for me because it was my expression because it was my reaction you shouldn't ever be expressing an order like for someone else you should be doing it for you and I think that that's the challenge that I had is that people would assume that I was doing things for others and for their attention but really I was just trying to be myself and I like learned to shut up to please others. It was weird. It was like I would do things that were annoying to some people but that's how I really wanted to be. But the only reason why people told me to stop is because they thought that I was seeking attention from my expression when really that's, that's just my, that was my natural thing. It's unnatural for me to shut up. Like, whenever I'm quiet and I'm shutting up, this is actually me seeking attention and normalcy by saying nothing. So, everyone's different. Everyone has their own, their own way. And if you're interested in Myers-Briggs personality type and you are watching this, then you probably know, if you're an introvert, that if you, if you, as an introvert, were talking a bunch about yourself or whatever you're probably just seeking attention you're probably going out of your way as me an extrovert an ENFJ I think ENFPs have this problem a lot too whenever I am just being myself people think that I'm seeking attention or that I am trying to be someone I'm not but really it doesn't take effort for me to be extremely expressive it doesn't take effort for me to think about other people that's just what I do. And I feel like I am extremely like intense and obsessive and all these things. And people have been trying to shut me up my whole life and 
it's made me think that it's wrong to be that way. When everyone I admire has this quality and so I don't know what is holding me back from being it. If everyone that I admire has the quality, then why am I not being it? If I know who I am, then what's the, what's the, ha what's the problem, you know? But it still feels like I don't want to like grind my, grind the gears and like, I don't, even though I know that tension is necessary for growth, and even though I know that tension is necessary in a bunch of, and when you're in a society where everyone's different, it still hurts me to rub up against people in that way, and uh, it still sucks to feel like you are shaking people up, if that makes sense, like, I don't know if that makes sense. So I'm just gonna get back and try and finish up this topic because it looks like it might rain. Um, finishing up the topic, my journey, <sighs> learning how to express my own truth. Okay, expressing your own truth is really hard. Even if you naturally have the desire to do it and you naturally have the, and if it's like a reflex for you, like it is for me. For me, it's a reflex. Sharing is a reflex. Expressing is a reflex. All those fun things. I'm still getting there. I feel like the past two years, it's been a lot easier for me to do that. I think that ever since I graduated college, it's a lot easier to separate my own truth from the noise of social pressure. Because right now, I don't really feel a part of a larger social group, social clique. I feel like I am forging my own path and it's a lot easier. It's a lot easier to do what I want whenever I'm not worried about, oh, if I burn a bridge with that person, if they don't like me, I'm going to have to see them in class tomorrow or I'm going to have to like see them at a party. Ugh. I feel like I have more in control of who I will see and who I won't see because, and I, I'm, I'm starting to view it as like, this is my truth. If you don't like it, then you're not for me. And if you like it, then great, we can be friends. So I would just encourage you, anyone that is on the journey of speaking their own truth and wanting to be their own person more and more, I would just encourage you to remember that there are people out there for you. Trust that there is a niche, a, I never know if it's niche or niche, and I'm always wanting to say that word. And when you're from Kansas City, you don't know how to speak because you're from the middle of the country and so you hear people from all over like southern northern east and west i am influenced by all these different <laughs> like sub texts <laughs> i don't know what i'm saying right now the point is everyone has their own niche market that is their own we all have our soul tribe we all have our soul group that you can find in the world and the only way to find it is by being yourself and by speaking your truth and oh my god it's so hard for me like i already said like i started this video multiple times but i kept like sitting in places and then feeling like awkward because i would look and like see that someone was walking by and i'd be like oh my gosh i don't want them to know that i'm making a youtube video what if that's weird but like i'm really just trying to cut that shit out of my brain i don't know so it almost feels like for me the journey of speaking my own truth has been a circular journey like i was born with it and now i i'm spending my whole life to figure out how to get back to how i was at birth so yeah that's my it's my video i guess um thank you for listening um i do think that these sort of rambly style videos i'm going to be making more of because i think that the more I pressure, the more I get myself to just do it in this way, I think it will translate in a lot of my other content. And whenever things, um, whenever my more thoughtful content, like, by the way, I already am working on type descriptions for every type, um, like that. Like whenever there are content that requires more thinking and more thought, um, I want to be able to do those faster and I think the only way to do that is to get over my own obstacles with sharing my own truth and trust myself more. So that's what this video is for. Um, thanks for watching.
it's uh, raining now. Damn. <laughs> Bye.